Well, here's the uh, Heathkit signal tracer, the IT5283. I bought both of these together and built them both together as a set to use for troubleshooting. And one thing that's bugged me for over 30 years on this thing, look at the mistake I made on the knob. When you got those, you had to uh, put the little brass insert in. And when I put that brass insert in, I'm not sure how I did it. I don't remember now, but I got it in the wrong spot. I got it facing down instead of up. That's bugged me ever since. And it doesn't really matter, I guess, but you can here is pretty sensitive on the signal tracer end. That volume pot's getting kind of noisy. And on the vo audible volt ohm setting, you can hear a little bit, but not near as much. But I'll pull the top off of this and see what we've got. Well, here's the inside of this. It was a little bit more difficult to build for somebody that's just getting started because you had some um, shielded wire you had to deal with and everything. You had to strip it back and so on and so forth. But it was a, definitely a good learning experience way back then. This thing's a lot dustier inside than the other one is. I think if I remember right, for some reason I I don't have the screws for holding these tops on and this one here the top had come off and it sat forever in a drawer with the top off that's why it's probably so dirty but overall though still the uh, workmanship was pretty decent on it not necessarily perfect but I don't know what this stuff here is I don't remember that being there but it came from something Unless maybe when I was sitting out with the lid off, it almost looks like stain or something. Maybe I was doing something with staining something and it splashed on it. I don't know. But Anyways, I just kind of thought I'd show these two old units that I built way back when, when I was still a kid. And I don't know if anybody's interested in this or not, but here it is anyways. And I thought while I was at it also, I'd unbolt the back side of this and take a look in here as well didn't remove the flux on this circuit board either I don't know what I was thinking who knows but I, don't know, I suppose I better wrap this video up just thought I'd show some of this